Here is the start of a class whose objects are iterators over even values of integer arrays. It implements interface iterator. Because of that, we stub in required methods has next and next. The first statement of next throws the necessary exception if has next is false. Method next should always start with such a call on has next. The next step is to write the constructor. It should have as parameter the array whose even values are to be enumerated. We declare a field to contain the array and start the constructor. Now, this class must keep track of the elements of B as they are being enumerated. For this purpose, we introduce a second field, n, which contains the index of the next element to be enumerated. n equals b dot length if all values have already been enumerated. With that field, it's easy to complete function has next. The constructor must initialize field n to the index of the first even element. Also, method next will have to change n when it returns b sub n. Since n has to be changed in two places, we write a method for it. We suggest that you stop the video at this point and study the method specification and body. We can now change the constructor to truthify the definition of n, setting n to negative 1 first so that the call on fix next will start looking at b sub 0. Similarly, we write the body of method get next. Save the return value in R. Call fix next to increment n appropriately and return r. Most iterators have this form. First, there are fields to represent what is being enumerated an array like b, a linked list, something that describes a set, whatever. Second, there are fields like n to help describe what remains to be enumerated. Depending on how complicated it is to find the next element to be enumerated, there may be a method like fix next. The constructor saves its parameters and truthifies the class invariant. Method has next usually has a simple body. Finally, method next always makes sure that there is an element to enumerate. It then saves the return value fixes the fields to describe the next element to be returned, and returns the saved value.